Hello. Hi. I'm John Aragon. I'm Len Logan. I'm Leanna. I'm Yang from Hi. Ruby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Almost got stabbed. I'm getting used to controlling them. Nice. <laughs> nice. Tell me a little bit about the character you're cosplaying. I'm usually very angry, usually very bloody, and I have a tube baby. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> so, tell me about yours. What, what, what cosplay is that? I am Yang from Ruby, which is an American anime. Um, it's a, pretty much a fighting show where a bunch of girls have a team and they fight against giant monsters and bad guys. And I'm cosplaying as Yang, who is the strong arm, basically the tank of their group, who can take punches and throw them back even harder. But it's an American anime? So it is. anime. In America. I'm used to Japan anime. That's a tough question, <laughs> but people do say that it's anime. I don't want to say that it is or isn't, but yeah, I'd say American anime. <laughs> <laughs> so what design went into your cosplay? So I made the whole coat with duck cloth and velvet and just everything, and then the arm which is my favorite part, is made out of warbla and an arm sock that I made out of stockings and some pleather. Yeah, that looks really <laughs> sick actually because it has a lot of detail on it. How about you? What did you do for yours? Well, as Deadpool always makes fun of Logan, <laughs> I'm a tank top and jeans, but to play Old Man Logan, I did put a lot more detail into it. I put the little FX stuff. Um, the little bullet holes, obviously I'm very bloody, so I had to be spot on with what the movie had. Um, the hair, obviously, because I had to be old. My beard, I try to grow it out as long as possible. And my most, my, most of my costume was actually made in the gym. I lifted a lot. <laughs> I was more dedicated to uh, more muscle gains to portray him. If I took off the shirt, I would have the muscles to, you know. Dedication. Be yeah. That's cool. So that was the toughest part was actually hitting the gym and earning the muscle to be Logan. That's true dedication though and I wish that I could say the same about my character. <laughs> but no, I'm just a floppy, floppy girl over here who can't even lift this actually, drink. You're the strongest. You probably can that. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> if Bruce Wayne donated to a charity, real or fiction, what would he donate to? Uh, I would say anything that has to do with orphans. Oh, probably. <laughs> What's your favorite board game? My favorite board game? I like Monopoly, even though it goes on for a million years. How about you? I, I was thinking the same thing, Monopoly. That's all I could think about, board games, because it's just so competitive. Like, I think Monopoly starts fights. You get very angry, <laughs> especially when you get the little houses and then you land on them and you have to pay rent for them. Probably the most brutal board game. Why doesn't the X Mansion have any wheelchair accessible entrances? Ah. Come on. <laughs> what was your first video game played? When I was younger, my dad was obsessed with video games. So anytime the new thing came out, he'd go out and buy it and then buy every video game that came out. So we just had binders full of video games. But I loved Crash Bandicoot so much. <laughs> How about you? My first game was definitely Super Mario Brothers. Nice. And I was hooked on that game. I remember I actually defeated that game multiple times. Yahoo! I would get in trouble for it because they would, you know, put it away and go get some air type of thing. <laughs> Can you sing your cosplay's uh, song? No. <laughs> I feel terrible. I was just singing them in the car. <laughs> Can you? Uh, see, mine has no words. So if I go back to the old school 90s X-Men, it's da 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 It was my ringtone for years. At least yours doesn't have words. Come on. 
What is the one TV show you cannot miss? I would have to say it was Stranger Things. Okay, well, until the season ended recently, it was Ruby, because it comes out weekly, and it's only like 20 minute snippets of the whole thing, so it's just, it drags, but you can't miss one of them or you freak out. What's your go-to dance move? I mean, I really like to do like my arm out and just like do one of these and then do the other one and do one of these. You could do it in the car, <laughs> do it anywhere. It's the best. What's your go-to dance move? I don't think I have one. The most I could probably dance is that little string dance where I move my hips with a string and then suddenly I just cut the string. <laughs> Which Game of Thrones house do you belong to? Winterfell. Stark. Stark. House Stark. Me too. You know? <laughs> also, my name is Leanna and there's a Leanna Stark. Default. Have to. <laughs> Justice League or the Avengers? Uh. Justice League. Fire powers or ice powers? Fire. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. Star Wars or Star Trek? Ah, uh, don't do that to me. Don't. Uh, Star Wars. Mario Sonic. Mario. Explain what Pokemon is in 10 seconds or less. Go. Animals and balls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Explain what Star Wars is in 10 seconds or less. Some creepy alien dudes in space fighting with long rods. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox. Muppet Babies or Tiny Toons? Tiny Toons. Kylo Ren or Darth Vader? I don't know who Kylo Ren is except for being that boxy dude. So I'm gonna go with Darth Vader. <laughs> Impressive. What was the inspiration behind your cosplay? My childhood. I was always a huge X-Men fan growing up. And of course I have a daughter. So she didn't I didn't take her to watch the movie. <laughs> I showed her just some scenes of X-23 and she really loved it. Clearly, you know, being that she is my actual daughter in the movie she's X-23, which is old man Logan's daughter, it just came together and I was like, this is perfect. Let's just do it. Perfect. It's so <laughs> perfect. I'm amazed. I love when people cosplay with their children. It's just that's the best thing to see at cons. Parenting, winning. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, my inspiration was I relate to the characters in Ruby a lot. Uh, a lot of their struggles and their personalities. Basically, the whole group, the main four characters in that show, is just a mesh of my personality. So, how long have you been cosplaying? Officially, I've been cosplaying since my sophomore year in high school, so it's about six years now, but as a kid, I would always dress up as characters for Halloween. So technically, since I was a kid, <laughs> I've been cosplaying. How about you? You know, I always went all out in Halloween, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where I started too. I was like, I always loved dressing up as superheroes, who, which kid doesn't? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now, as a grown up, it's like, it's a thing, it's a culture, you know? And there's a lot of people that relate to it now. We're like, let's go out and have some fun being superheroes. Yeah, thank God that people <laughs> accept this now. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd still be a weirdo, but... <laughs> How do your friends and family feel about your cosplaying? Well, when it comes to the gym, they're like, you dress up as a superhero? Like, yes, I wear tight pants. <laughs> but as far as like friends and family go, like they're all really cool about it. And actually, my sister is an artist, so she's a big cosplayer. That's cool. great. Little Sis actually gave me the push to go into cosplay more. I'm pretty much the only one in my family who is the nerd in the family. So I always get the, oh, you're going to do that again, aren't you? 22 years old, you should be doing other things. I'm like, you know, no, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> Which one of our characters do you think will win in a fight? Ooh, OK, let's think about this. I have a gun in my hand that I can shoot you with. I mean, my healing power isn't what it used to be since I'm old man Logan now. I'm still young, so I think that Yang might win this one. I'd have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> what is your biggest cosplay fail? A Party City costumed Spider-Man. 
Okay, okay, that's pretty bad. And it was an emergency case because it was for a birthday party, which is even worse, so that's a total fail. When I was just getting into cosplay, I decided that I wanted to go big or go home and make a foam armor. Got a whole bunch of foam and I was so happy and I was putting it together and then like once I actually put it on myself, it fit like maybe my left arm, but like the rest of it was just like falling off and it was like, oh, I'm never cosplaying again. <laughs> of course I did, but <laughs> how important is Stan Lee? Oh, he is actually really important. I brought my daughter to meet him and she was dressed up as a little spider girl oh and I was dressed up as Spider-Man. I never met him, but every time that I see he's going to a convention, I always am like, oh, I should go. And I'm just waiting for that day to meet him because I feel like that's going to be, oh, this is the greatest experience ever. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. I'm just gonna hit this thing on. Okay. <laughs>